an awful feeling that uh, 236,000 people at any one time are suffering the, the, the worst forms of, of homelessness. But what's probably worse is that we, we know there are answers and we're not implementing them yet. So World Homeless Day is a really important opportunity, not just to highlight the problem, but highlight some solutions. Mm, I mean, Sophie, in terms of all the campaigns that you could be involved in, you know, I'm sure there's so many people that get in touch with you asking you to be a face for them, to work with them. Why homelessness? It just, it, I think it affects us all and every day, going to work at the moment, particularly I'm working in town. Y y you're, you're experiencing it every day and having to process that and the realisation that this is not getting better. It's why you, if you can do, you know, be a part of this day, be a part of the poem, be a part of cooking at crisis or whatever you can offer, it feels, um, that feels marvellous and that we can move forward together if we all um, join in, mm. as the poem says, in fact. Mm. But one of, one of the solutions that the government is offering, one of the latest solutions is £20 million to help towards putting people um, who are living on the streets, people who are without home, into privately rented accommodation. £20 million are they investing into this. What do you think about that? Is that enough? Well, it's certainly not enough, but it's a great example of a, of a solution. And it's, it's built on a model that uh, the crisis implemented that was government funded between 2011 and 2014. So we know it works and we know it'll help about 9,000 people. We just want to make sure that that, that funding is, is sustained. So it is a great example, but on its own, of course, it's not enough. What more would you want the government to do? Well, there are, there are root causes to homelessness, which the government needs to acknowledge. I mean, one, one is the lack of social housing. So we need significant um, growth in the number of social houses being built. We need a welfare system, of course, that covers the cost of housing as rents are going up for people. So there are, there are policy decisions that, uh, that can be, t be taken. But there are also solutions at an individual level. We worked with 10,000 people last year, helping them find their way out of homelessness mm -hmm. sustainably. I mean, so if you've been working with homeless people, with, with Crisis again, they've got a cafe in, in East London. You were training um, some people, some homeless people, in terms of trying to become chefs. Because you were um, a winner of um, Celebrity Master Chef as well, so using your skills there. One of the wonderful things about Crisis is the way it's been described to me is when vulnerable people walk through that door, the first things that that they experience are things that we could do every day like cooking and painting and and poetry and song and art actually the the real magic of it is that it's a healing process you're not inundated with um structures and do lists you're eased into feeling safe and 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 cared for and human again